Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use the flex grow property to expand items. The opposite of flex shrink is flex grow property. Recall the flex shrink controls the size of the items when the container shrinks. The flex grow property controls the size of the items when the parent container expands. Use a similar example from the last challenge. If one item has a flex grow value of one and the other has a flex grow value of three, the one with the value of three will be three times as much as the other. Add the CSS pr property flex grow to both box one and two, and then give box one the value of one and box two the value of two. Hmm, interesting. It seems like there's a bit of a glitch here because I'm not seeing the boxes. If we make this blue, red. Interesting. Hmm. It's no fun. Okay, perhaps we're dealing with a, uh, a glitch here for now. But if I go flex grow, and we set the flex grow on the value of the first box is equal to one. Nice. Okay, so it's just a matter of the difference between flex grow and for flex shrink maybe depends upon whether or not it shows up when it's, at set, when it's set to zero. Set the value of flex uh, grow to two. Interesting. So yeah, the height is 500, the height is 200 and 200. Hmm, what's going on here? If it's two and two, it should be even. If it's three and two, this will start growing correspondingly. That's interesting. With flex shrink, the box is there. But here, the box is like that. It must have something to do. It definitely goes about the width. The height is 200, height of 200. Height of 500. Hmm. What happens if we change that? Nothing happens. Huh. What happens if we go 100 to the height? Interesting. So the height of the container is that large, but the flex and grow turn that. Anyways, I'm not really understanding exactly what this means, but that's just how you pass it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.